Hello, my name is Keith Jones. I'm recording this video from a spot that ties together modern religion and the founding era. In the background is the Blessed Sacrament Catholic Church in Burlington, North Carolina. It's less than 10 years old. However, it was built on the grounds of the Michael Holt Plantation. The home was originally somewhere in what is now the parking lot, somewhere over this way, I believe. Holt was originally a loyalist, but he had a change of heart late in the revolution. He and his family were important to the growth of this community. His grandchildren founded a string of textile mills that ended up becoming Burlington Industries. In recent decades, dueling factions have debated the question of the Christian founding of America. This was widely accepted as a given until the modernist movement of the 20th century began pressing the point. Among such dissenters is Stephen Green, who wrote uh, about it in his book, Inventing a Christian America, the myth of the religious founding. Now the reader barely has to press beyond the title to understand the thesis of his work. Of course, a work this transparent in its goals is rife for proof texting which by itself does not disprove the author's position, but it raises questions of objectivity. Now Green is correct to the extent that America was not founded as a theocracy. The founding fathers carefully avoided founding a theocracy. This does not mean that our founders were not heavily influenced by Christian principles, because they were. Even philosopher Leo Strauss made a note of this in 1953. He asked, does this nation in its maturity still cherish the faith in which it was conceived and raised? Does it still hold those truths to be self-evident? About a generation ago, an American diplomat could still say that the natural and divine foundation of the rights of man is self-evident to all Americans. Now Strauss, was uh, German born, he was Jewish, and he was also an atheist. Yet even he acknowledged the influence of Christianity in our founding. Now Matthew Harris and Thomas Kidd point to the election of 1800. As the author of the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson was positioned to be a shoe-in for the presidency. Allegations of heresy due to Jefferson's unconventional religious views nearly derailed his candidacy. If Christianity were not pivotal in the founding of America, would this have mattered? There were certainly deists among the, uh, to varying degrees, among the founding fathers, like Franklin and Jefferson. The founders struggled to strike a balance of religious freedoms, keeping government from trampling on the rights of religious bodies was a top concern. The sprinkling of various Protestant denominations influenced the development of the principles of our republic. Now, Roger Williams, he was the founder of uh, Rhode Island, was a staunch advocate of religious freedom. He was a Puritan minister who co-founded the Baptist faith in America. He once said, forced worship stinks in God's nostrils. William's ideas on uh, religious liberty influenced many of the scholars revered by the founding generation, uh, such as John Locke. Williams died nearly a century before American independence, but his ideas were still strong in the minds of the founders and the framers of the Constitution. Mervyn Davis said that if uh, John Calvin planted the seeds of democracy, Roger Williams nurtured them to their fullest harvest. Thank you for listening.